So Friday morning, the trash truck came around the corner a little too tight, took out the tail light on the F-150, put a little dent in the fender and a scratch. That'll have to go to the body shop, but the more important thing is we can't drive with this broken lens. Uh, a couple light bulbs are broken too, but we lost a turn signal, the brake light, and the running light, and most of this reflector. Uh, we have to replace this before we can put the truck back on the road again. The dealership said it was going to take about three to four days to get the part. Of course, we we're able to find a cheap Chinese knockoff and get it overnighted from Amazon. The first thing we have to do is remove the tailgate helper. I've already unclipped this from the connection. Yours may be a little different or you may not have one at all. This will give you access to that bottom bolt. Then we're going to take a ratchet or a socket set with an eight millimeter and we're going to undo these two bolts. Now, I have trimmed the video a little bit just to share you some of the boredom. These bolts are actually pretty long. It does take a little while. But once you get those two out, you just kind of pull a little pressure and you're pulling this light kind of back and out at the same time to release the three tabs on the back of the light fixture. Once the light fixture is free from those tabs, you'll have to unclip the wiring harness. It's just a simple six pin socket can be a little tough on your fingers. This one seems to be a little bit stuck, maybe because salt gets flung up inside here in the winter time. This truck is about two years old. It has made two Newtonland winters. It's about 22,000 miles, but overall it's still pretty clean underneath. There you get that off. Just kind of put it to the side. Now we're going to save all the wiring on the back of this. So these three light sockets and the harness connector, we're going to transfer that. To the new light fixture. Also one of the pins broke off in the old light fixture when the truck hit it and it's stuck in this rubber grommet so we're gonna have to separate this. We want to reuse that rubber grommet for the new light. It's not that easy to get off. It's kind of a weird soft plastic, soft rubber mated with a hard plastic. So basically what I was able to do is screw the stud into the old light and pry it with a screwdriver to get it off. Of course, this is why I normally wear gloves. I'm going to put that rubber grommet back in where it goes. And what's a good old home fix it video without a little bit of blood. Unboxing the new tail light enclosure. At first look, it looks just like the factory Ford. I really can't tell the difference except there's no factory Ford sticker on the back, but all the, Little nubbins seem to be in the right place. Now we're just going to unscrew the three light bulb sockets. They all go counterclockwise about a third of a turn and they pop out. You're going to need to put new light bulbs in where the light bulbs are broken. We had two out of three were broken on this one. And then you're going to need a screwdriver to pop out that light socket. You're going to transfer this whole mess over to the new tail light. And the nice thing about this is these light bulbs only go in one way and they only go in one hole. So you can't mess it up. You can't reverse them by accident. It just won't fit if you mix them up. So we're gonna put those all in and have the wiring harness socket plugged back in on the plastic tab. And we're basically ready to put this back into the truck. Sorry for showing you the back of my arm. I really don't have a good sense of where the camera is facing while I'm doing this in the street. So upon further inspection, there is a little bit of glue residue, a little bit of manufacturing goo that I'm going to just scrape off so you don't see it once it's on there. But overall, it looks pretty good, looks pretty well sealed. The only thing I can think of is perhaps it may not keep all the moisture out. I'm just not really sure, you know, the, are Ford factory headlights made in China too? Could be the same factory that makes them all. Anyway, we're going to line up these three tabs. First, we got to plug in that wiring harness. Once you got that plugged in, we're just going to kind of line up these three tabs. And if you look at these three holes, you kind of got to put the front in and the back one almost at the same time, but they're mounted in different directions. So you kind of have to line them up and then you're going to apply pressure to the taillight almost at a 45 degree angle. So you're pushing forward and in at the same time.
and you'll hear a pretty solid pop, especially when the two front ones go in. The rear one didn't have a rubber grommet. I'm not sure if it's designed that way or if Ford just forgot to put one in there. I wouldn't put it past them. It is Ford. So now we just gotta line up these two little holes with the screws. They should be lined up perfectly if the tabs are in the right spot. Oh, here comes my neighbor Buzzy. Yeah. So now I just really need to tighten these two bolts up and put the tailgate assist back on. Just in time. Huh? Just in time to go back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Who sent you that one? This one is, uh, this is a Chinese copy off Amazon. Oh, okay. And then I had to get the light bulb from the dealer. What was that? They had to special order it, because the light bulbs are different than the previous years. Oh. Yeah. Something I never thought about. Yeah. On a new model truck. But this is good at least. Even if I don't like the fit and finish of this, huh? Even if I don't like the fit and finish because it's cheap Chinese, yeah, I you know, but you I always do. get another one later for 300 bucks, yeah, if I need to. But yeah. this one I was able to get overnight mailed, the yeah, it worked out all comes the same way that you get it the next day, yeah. I never get anything to the dealership because, uh, can we this up? Go. Okay, you can let that. See how it closes. Looks good. Oh, you don't have one in the other side, huh? It just only needs one side. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good. Looks good. Yeah. Looks good. Yeah. It's funny, you don't realize how big these things are until you take them off. Yeah. Well, they're big. Yeah. All right, have a good one. Take it easy. Yep. Now I just want to confirm that all the lights work as intended. And guess what they do? Amazon really came through for me on this one. The taillight was broken on Friday. The dealership was going to take nearly a week to get me the part. And I had a big job on Monday I had to get done. This light was delivered in less than 20 hours from ordering it, and it was about 70% less than dealership cost. It's not OEM, but it's gonna work at least for the short time. The link for the cheap Chinese knockoff F-150 brake light is in the description down below. And please, if you like this content, like and subscribe to catch more like this.